この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。Alrighty, welcome everyone. I'm Tiabu and I am here today to watch the second batch of episodes of Koyomi Monogatari.、Uh, last week we watched the first six, this week we're going to watch the, the next and last six. Yeah.、Um, First off, apologies that this is coming out late for you patrons. Uh, uh, it's been a weird and kind of terrifying day in, in some ways.、Um, first off, there has been, my, my town has been racked by like gale force winds, 40 to 60 mile per hour gusts、um, all day and for most of last night. And the, the trees moving around outside my window kept me up really late last night,、uh, which was just, just not fun.、Um, But beyond that, when I woke up this morning, I woke up to the, the news that there is a large and extremely dangerous brush fire going on about, about 35, 45 miles away from me to the west.、Uh, luckily, at the moment, the wind is blowing away from my current location, but、uh, it, is, it is bad and there is zero containment. And due to the extremely high winds, it is spreading very quickly. And、uh, also, due to the very high winds, it is、uh, it's very difficult for them to use air support to drop large quantities of water onto the, onto the fire itself because the wind just disperses the water that they drop.、Um, Same, same with the,、uh, oh, what's it called? Oh, I, I just had the name. The, the, I forget what it's called. The, the pink stuff that they, they drop on, on fires as well. It's just, it's just not a good situation for those people who live out in the area、um, and those people trying to drive through that area. It's just, it's bad. It's not a, a forest fire technically because there aren't really forests where I am. I'm, I'm, I live in Southern California and the closest thing that we have in the area is、uh, chaparral, which is like low. Brush,、uh, desert brush stuff. And it's it's very dry. It has not rained in months. So it is extremely dry. It's just imagine thousands of acres of tinder, and that's that's what you've got.、Um, as far as I know, the fire was not arson or or like trash or a cigarette or anything like that. Somebody caught on dash cam what appeared to be a branch of a tree、um, thrown by the wind, impacting with a power line and causing a spark and a flame. Um, we'll see. We'll find out more as time goes on. But my heart goes out to those people who are being evacuated from the area where they are. I am not in an evacuation zone. And as far as I know, I'm not in a current danger zone. But、uh, that can change very, very quickly as the wind is a- 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 likely to shift as night comes,、um, just because of the nature of ocean and, and desert, which is like what I'm in the middle of. There are. Deserts to the east and ocean to the west, and that creates an interesting dynamic for,、uh, for wind and wind currents. These are called Santa Ana winds, and they're a yearly occurrence, and it's always a bad season because there are always fires, because it's always dry, because it's southern fucking California.、Uh, yeah, I would, I would like to move away from where I am currently and into something more of a city, maybe, but we will we'll see how that plays out over the next few months.、Um, In any case, I, I, sorry for, for going off on a tangent, but these are the things that are on my mind. Also, I will say that if I feel, if it seems like I'm off in this reaction, it's because I was up until like 5 a.m.,、um, just unable to sleep because of the, the noise of the rushing wind, which normally would be soothing, but when it's this. Intense,、uh, and like all of the doors in your house are like shifting, and your entire house is shifting a little bit. And there are large trees outside,、uh, directly above the area that I would call my room.、Um, it's a little, little scary, just, just, just a smidge. So,、uh, last week we watched the first six episodes of Koyomi Monogatari, and those were uh, uh, each one related to a specific female character in the series, and then a specific sort of not aberration, but、uh, an odd mystery that they were interested in and enlisted Koyomi's help in. Figuring out.、Uh, the first one was Hanakawa with a strange stone and a shrine around it,、uh, which turned out to be Araragi's own work. The second was、uh, Sanjo Gahara with flowers by the roadside and, more importantly, flowers on the rooftops.、Um, 
being placed there for some interesting and not entirely obvious reasons. The third was Hachikuji, who uh, enlisted Araragi's help to talk about a sandbox with a strange devilish countenance that was appearing in it every time that it was left for any time. And he eventually discovered that there was a somewhat dangerous set of cracks in the bottom of this sandbox that were causing the sand to sift out of it and create this awkward and evil and kind of horrifying oni visage um the fourth was kambaru with a story about her father seeing his future love in the water which turned out to be a bit of a misattribution um of of uh, that's not the right phrase but i think you know what i mean uh and then Nadako with wind, which was really more of, of a curse or the way that information traveled from, uh, from Kaiki. And then finally, Karin with a tree, uh, a, a strange tree that began growing or seemingly was always there in the middle of her dojo or her, her training ground. And uh, the discovery... Well, actually, we didn't really discover how the tree got there. What we did, what we did was prevent it from being chopped down by making it a, a point of reverence for the people who work there uh, and and train there. All all of these were short. You know, all all of the episodes in Koyomi are are essentially half length, and all of them were interesting, self contained, and kind of just cute and a little bit nostalgic for some of the earlier days of of Monogatari. Um, not that it's well, it's just it's just it doesn't have quite the same level of evolution and self reference in it that that we've seen before. I don't think they're they're much more self contained and it's kind of it's kind of nice in that way. It's kind of nice to not worry about the massive ramifications of these stories. Now that being said, with each of these stories, we've been we've been having a a punchline or a conclusion at the end. And uh, I, I get the strange sinking feeling, well, not sinking, but the strange feeling that the entire arc, if you will, or the entire section of Koyomi Monogatari will have its own overall punchline um, and that maybe it will have ramifications toward the future. But I really don't know. Um, just it seems like a very OEC thing to do to write a bunch of little stories following a certain formula and then come to the end of it and realize that the entire overall set of these little stories forms up a bigger story with its own big punchline at the end. But I could be wrong and probably am. In any case, we've got six more half-length episodes to get through, which is roughly the equivalent of what I would normally do for a Monogatari reaction, two to three episodes. So right in line with that. And, uh, and so I don't see any reason to do anything but charge on through and watch to the end of this season. Um, and then that way next week we can go ahead and start up, I believe it's Zoku Owari, or uh, Continuation of Owari. So without, uh, without much further blathering, let's go ahead and dive on into episode 7 of Koyomi Monogatari. It also, uh, somebody mentioned to me, and it became kind of apparent that, that each of the um, it became apparent when I was looking up up artwork to use for for uh, for the the sponsor shout out because I, I usually find a piece of art that I like uh, to use as the background for that. Um, and I found a, an album of the months and it, it it's it seems that each each month, uh, has its own episode, and each character becomes associated with a specific month of of the year. Given that there are twelve episodes, that makes a lot of sense and is kind of cool from a a narrative and and storytelling and just just an interesting way of doing things perspective. Um, so I wonder what our next month will be and who it will be about. So. Uh, again, without further blathering, I said that and then blathered some more. Uh, let's go ahead and watch episode 7 of Koyomi Monogatari. I have the episode up and ready to go. It is at zero seconds. There will be two versions of this reaction video. You can find a picture-in-picture -picture version with the video down there. Uh, uh, with the video up there in the description down there. Again, tired. Um, and a timer-based version up on YouTube. If you would like to sync up your own copies of these episodes with the timer-based version on YouTube, more than welcome to that's what it's there for just get your copy ready because the beep beep timer for episode seven will be coming at you right now yes <laughs> oh 
of all of the OPs, this is the one that I've re-listened to by far the most. So I'm going to just add Skihi to the list. Because, duh. <laughs> Lovely. Koyomi T. Oh, and calendar story, right? Tea. I, I do like me some tea. Uh, I mean, yeah. No reason. <laughs> hmm. Had been. Hmm. Hmm. That's not necessarily true. Okay. <laughs> Wait, was that a multicolored pencil uh pen? It it totally was. <laughs> <laughs> zembu 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 <laughs> wow mm hmm Okay. Okay. Hmm. Desire to believe. Ooh, that's cool. Overlapping shadows. Where's the pipe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Hmm. Desire to believe versus evidence. Right, but logic and emotion are often at odds. A 
back to manufactured justice, right? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Please no. Like a little tattoo gun. <laughs> Ow. Hmm. Misachi. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Please no. Okay. your own correctness that's a lot of books Kambaru books no the ramifications are non-existent she just wants people to understand yeah Sure. Good point. Uh-huh. I don't believe you. <laughs> Shit, she's right. That would outweigh. <laughs> but Ski's really cute. <laughs> right. Wait, how... Did he have a hole in... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. He does have a hole in his helmet. <laughs> sure. Sure. But you can never logically explain rash irrationality. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's that's great. <laughs> oh, 
Of course. Mm. Mm hmm. Both. I really like a couple of the elements of this song. The the woo woo in the right ear. Whiz. Try sale. And that should be a full end. Boom. Well, this was very cute. Another another one that is sort of nothing. This one this one harkens back to me, just like on initial impressions, uh, to a lot of the early the early Owari stuff. Um in in Ogi Riddle and Ogi Formula with with Araragi uh da 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 dealing with like the ideas of manufactured justice or or like right and justice not really mattering as long as the group can can agree on it it's 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 different it's it's like in the same vein but off a little bit just like a little little branching path from that uh where what's right doesn't really matter when when emotion is is at stake the other thing is that we don't know that he's necessarily actually deceiving Skihi. We just know that he doesn't know that he's not deceiving Skihi. Does that make sense? Like he doesn't he doesn't know that the tea ceremony club members are doing this in order to protect her. This is an idea that he and Kambaru came up with and one that he feels right about deceiving her for. Um but we don't know that that's wrong. We or, or right, it could be the case or it could not be. It seems rather rather likely but it's also maybe just as likely that they just want to believe in a ghost but it, it seems like such a reasonable explanation for why they would be continuing to insist on the the presence of an eighth member given her revealed propensity for taking too many snacks all in all it was really fucking cute i like i like the line about stay true to, to your own correctness um and i like the the specific scene just the aesthetic of it of the the multiple the multiple shadows from the cups i don't know where it is there yeah the multiple shadows overlapping from the cups i don't know if there's any like significant symbolism in it but i i quite like the aesthetic of it and this this choice to have aragi in like the stands of a, a movie theater or or play theater it's very cool and then the way that they're sitting is almost like i don't know Oh well, it's it's for a tea ceremony on a on a tatami, but with the the red glow everywhere, it's just interesting. The whole the whole sequence with Araragi pushing minecarts full of books out of seemingly a book mine is kind of fascinatingly weird. Um, it's it's just one of those situations where Shaft takes the material and creates something visual to look at that's interesting, uh, while being, to to my mind, I, I don't think it's relevant. I think it's just a random thing that they chose to do that we're like, that 
that would be cool, right? That that would be something interesting to look at as we progress through this story. That would be fun. I also love the image of Kambaru as a like Yankee scooter riding uh uh Boken Boken Bo Bobby Bo Ha he who it ho Boken uh wielding uh delinquent with something on her on her leg. I can't read because moon runes. Oh, and oh, and the 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 hard hat with a little hole in it is really cute <laughs> and really goofy. And these elements of the tea ceremony. This was this was very pretty and and very cool and also tea related. So, you know, lots of things that I enjoy. Uh, also, I I didn't notice that before, but uh, the lights come on once they start doing the reveal to Tsukihi, whereas they were in the dark before illuminated by the, the 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 tatami itself which creates this like soft underglow for the characters also an abundance of really cute skihi faces in this episode which is never something that i would turn down so that was great getting to hear puratina disco again was great purachi tachi yeah uh purachina disco again was great uh sherlock skihi great just lots of good lots of good things here this was fun and also had some, some, some very light philosophy in it. Cool. Okay, let's let's jump on into the next one. I'm gonna do do a couple episodes and then then do a resync. So we'll just dive on into the second episode, episode eight, uh, immediately. So I've got episode eight up and ready. Beep beep timer. Ah. <sighs> All right, we're going Ogi. <laughs> I do like this OP. This is the one with the, the weird geometry, right? Is this Mathematics or is that a different one? Is that the next one? Spooky Ogi, no. <laughs> it's not the basiest drop ever, but it's pretty fucking dope. <laughs> Just halo dropping through graph paper. <laughs> it's really cool OP. Emerging from the darkness. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Also, this font that they're using is the SpongeBob font. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Koyomi Mountain. All right. So, Ogi Mountain. Month of Frost? Hello, Spooky Yogi. Hmm. Is this the mountain to the shrine? Yellow, no. Hmm. So, again, forgetting things that you may have heard. How so? The Shrine of the Polar Snake? No, please no. Oh. Hey, 
important to you? Eh. That's not what she said. Like a monkey or maybe a cat. Hmm. I feel like we learned something about that during the first Nautico arc, but no. Snakes don't live on mountains very much. It's cold. Hmm. Spooky. Or creepy. Like you. How about a demigod like you? Really? Yeah, but how do you move an entire shrine? But would it be the same building? You wouldn't build a path to nowhere. It's an interesting question. I would think magic of some kind. Super power. Yeah. Okay. The moving? And a white frame. We don't get those very often. Please, yeah, I don't get anything that has happened. That is a big moon.
Oh, but then what? Moving it though. So they didn't move it. They moved the idea of it. Right, right, right. Right. She's already got the... Hmm. It still has the same effect. Right. <laughs> quizu, quizu, quizu. It will. It certainly will. Well. Well. Hmm. Like the rope. Huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, nice little slip you got there, Nautico. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Red lights. And it is. It's in that drawer. Nice magazine for men. What does Mewaku mean? Mewaku. To annoy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's not mathematics. It's completely wrong. It's decent black, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, it's an interesting one. An interesting one. Some hints about Ogi, some massive, uh, uh, I guess if you watched this earlier, some massive hints about what's going to go on with Nautico from, like, timeline-wise. Um, some interesting ideas. It It almost, like... It's almost the idea of the it's is it Herodotus with the the boat uh Herodotus or no that's he Herodotus is the river uh boat No uh boat switch pieces same boat philosophy Paradox of Theseus's ship. Ship of Theseus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thought experiment that raises the question whether an object that has had all of its components replaced remains fundamentally the same object. Um, 
Oh, it, be, it being discussed by Heraclitus uh, and Plato. Okay, okay, not Herodotus. Pfft, totally wrong. Um, yeah, the, the idea of that being that, like, if you take a ship and you piece by piece replace each part of the ship, at what point is it a new ship, if it's ever a new ship, or is it the same ship, even at the end when every single piece of it is has nothing to do with the ship that was before? It's a, it's a paradox. Kind of. Sort of. Kind of. Sort of. Hmm. Gradual loss of identity. There is no. Okay. Yeah. There. There are a lot of ways of thinking about it. Uh. And. Yeah. In, including Noam Chomsky on externalism and lots of lots of things. It's an interesting. It's an interesting thought experiment and one that I would um recommend going deeper into if it sounds interesting to you. Uh, and it just reminds me of the the shrine. But in this case, what what we have is a shrine that has been moved. But really, none of the pieces of it have actually been moved or exchanged. It was just rebuilt and then renamed. Um, sort of, sort of the same effect of like, uh, if uh, let's let's use a similar example because shrine. So if a church is burned down and then rebuilt, is it the same church? Um, depends. Depends on how you think of it. As long as it remains retains the same name and the same purpose, it might as well be. It might effectively as well be. As far as like linking this to something outside of this episode, I don't I don't know how to. Um, but I don't think that's necessarily what I should be looking for in these episodes anyway. Like I, I don't I don't know if this is relevant in some way to like to Oyi herself. Oh oh. Is it relevant to Nautico? I mean, she goes through a a a shedding of skin, uh, in in her arc, as she both becomes a snake goddess and backtracks from there. I don't I don't see it linking up too well. Okay, an interesting episode. Getting to hear um, it perfect dark. I already forgot what the what the OP's name is, but that's fine. Um, getting to hear that again was cool because because it's easy to forget how good that OP is, especially when when I'm not the biggest fan of Ogi in the universe. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Interesting episode. Not that much for me to talk about in it, just probably because I'm missing it. Okay. Let's uh let's jump on into the next one. Let's let's go let's go on episode nine, and then after that we'll take a break and do a sync. So episode. Nine of Koyomi Monogatari is up. Beep beep timer. Hmm. This is Shinobu time, right? No, this is Shinobu mail, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mine shots. And that's, yeah. So much good symbolism in this OP. Koyomi Taurus. Like a donut? Something workload? <laughs> Opayaina? Ohayaina. Huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
ドーナツどんどんドーナツどんどんいこう Please present <laughs> What are you pressing your face up against? Doesn't matter Fuck it, donuts Grab a golden choco There's no golden choco You fucked up Oh. <laughs> yeah, love. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, so this is post <laughs> donut analysis. Enhance, enhance. All all donuts have a hole. What? Well, I mean, it looks like it's a cream filled donut. I actually had never thought about that. And that would be the same reason you would do that for bagels, because you boil them, as opposed to baking. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the The Shinobu Branch. <laughs> okay. Do they get the Shinobu seal of approval? Looks like it. Oh, okay, I thought he was taking them away from her, which would have been a problem. Yeah, but I have to taste them all. <laughs> it's for safety. There are only four more left, aren't there? <laughs> Oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, some more donuts. We should go buy her some Mr. Donuts so that you can eat the ones your girlfriend made. <laughs> Love the fire. Kaka! <laughs> You have an extra dimensional pocket space. Like, that's not fair.
in my stomach. Uh huh. Oh, I believe you will. Nope. Yes, exactly. That's the whole plan. It's perfect. It's flawless. Why? Why is that cheating? They're gone. Although hiding implies that you can retrieve the object. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> but you're going to ensure that by eating some of them. <laughs> What cleavage? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. Egg shaft. Sure, hit me with it. Absolutely. She out on her travels? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she ate it. Yeah. Uh, I think she probably would. Hmm. She hit a donut inside a donut? The largest one was split in half with cream in the middle, right? Of course she would be petting a bunch of cats. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that was sweet. The shit eating his grin, sorry. <laughs>
Hmm. So that was sweet again and cute and full of wonderful shinobu moments, as well as at least one kaka, uh, which are always important. Uh, don't know, don't know what to to glean from it. Just felt cute. How is it a lesson about love? Not quite sure. I think it's mostly a lesson about Shinobu fucking loves donuts and will do anything to get them. <laughs> but it's it's also in reference to the, the ability to hide things. Hmm. 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 Ah, I don't know what to glean from it. It was enjoyable to watch, though, and very fun, and very cute. And that's all I got for it. <laughs> feels feels like I'm missing a lot. That's okay. That's okay. I'm sure that if I am, someone will let me know. If I am, you can you can go ahead and let me know. That's that's cool. I'd like to know. Donuts. Donuts. Okay, so we've done. Before, before we take a break, because we're going to take a break after I finish discussing this episode, and then we'll jump into the next three. Uh, we've done Hanakawa, Hitagi, Hachikuji, Kanbaru, Nadako, Karen, now Tsukihi, uh, uh, Ogi, and Shinobu. Who remains? I would assume that, well, we might do an Oikura, but, like, I don't, I don't know. So, I, I assume that Ononoki, because she is, is a, a, a front and center character, kind of, um... Then who else? Gaian? I guess maybe Oikura. Who, who are we missing? I don't really know. Maybe maybe Oikura, Ononoki, and, and, and Gaian. Or maybe the last episode or episodes don't quite follow the formula. That would be interesting. That would be interesting indeed. Okay. Well... With that, I'm going to go ahead and take a break and do a sinky thing and, and get everything synced up for the next set of episodes. So I will go ahead and do that, and there will be a cut here, and I will see you in a moment to jump on into episode 10 of Koyomi Monogatari. See you there. Peace. All right, welcome back. We are good to go on the next batch of episodes for Koyomi and the last batch of episodes. Cool. Um, I, I went ahead and actually stopped the recording and then restarted recording just that it's like the first half is safe uh, because the wind is picking up again. And that means that there's a, a distinct possibility of like a power line being hit or otherwise having an outage as was happening throughout the day. Um, so got the first half saved. Hopefully no no issues with the second half. Hopefully we'll be good. Whoa. I don't know. I don't know if that, that shouldn't be picked up on the microphone, but there is whooshing wind through the trees outside it's it's pretty crazy out there uh gale force five winds for sure okay so uh i theorized a little bit about who maybe these next three could be about i'm, I'm almost certain that one of them is going to be ononoki because like she's ononoki otsuki um other than that no idea could be gaian could be i don't know it could be oikura uh maybe 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 but i i can't think of anybody else off the top of my head Hopefully I'm not totally forgetting your favorite character because that would be that would be rough. Oh, what about Kaiki? There could be a Kaiki focused episode, couldn't there? I mean he is best waifu, so you know. <laughs> Alright, anyway, um enough enough Jodan Jodan. Uh let's go ahead and jump on into episode ten of Koyomi Monogatari calendar story. Beep beep timer. Nailed it. Sounds like a kazoo. <laughs> ah! I like the visuals of this OP a lot. The paper cutout feel. Sticker-esque. And it's just so colorful. 
It actually reminds me of a lot of the color design in certain frames of uh, Sayonara's Etsubo Sensei. It's cool. Koyomi Seed. Uh, no comment. Month of Affection. All right. Lots of Yotsuki focus places. Oni no Nichan. Yes. It's been so long. Yay. Peace, peace. She has such a great voice. January. Okay. <laughs> Everyone has something to say about my peace signs. That's a lot. <laughs> hmm. We're doing doing a. <laughs> Who is it with the the pencil that's never wrong? Oh, that's uh uh, Yui does that. Hmm. Thanks. I'm sure. How harsh. It's a cool shot. Fair enough. That's not terribly helpful. No. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Ooh. Chocolate scone. With what? Expand field of view. I see. No, we're all tiny. Is it tiny? No. still relatively quite short so you want to stand on yeah <laughs> the little girl piggyback ride event uh-huh yeah the lower half of your legs she wants to stand on your head or shoulders Same thing we've always done. Or, no, you stand on, yeah, of course, right, because she's monster strong. <laughs> it's a good thing there are no real people in this universe, because <laughs> they would freak out seeing that. Oh, okay.
How is it that the squeaks act as a beat? It's weird. Ticking clock. That was cool. Red lights. Should be exams. Hmm. Should be really annoying, but it's cute and it functions as a beat. It's weird. Constantly repeating a useless effort. Hmm. Hmm. Koyomi seed. Hmm. Yes. Where you can't tell which way it's rotating. Something you don't know what it is. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to what end? Ha. Preventative measure.
Ha. <laughs> huh. Prevention. Hmm. And then that stairwell. OG Bake soundtrack. Hmm. Hmm. And the most worthy of appreciation. That's kind of cool. I like this one. There's a big whoosh in this one. A couple of big whooshes, but came together at the end there. Thanks, Tsubasa. Wow. I didn't know how much I missed yay and peace, peace, <laughs> but I did. Actually, I knew exactly how much I missed them, which was a lot, a lot, a lot. I think the highlight of this episode for me was definitely the epilogue slash punchline. Um, it's just, I mean, it's, it's simple, but there's this moment where, where it's supposed to look directly into the, the, the camera as it were. And, uh, speaks of the importance or value of that kind of nonchalant consideration and the difficulty in finding it. It's something that's easily overlooked. Something easy to to not find. Hmm. Very sweet. I like this one a lot. I like this one a lot. Also, I just have to say that, like, on every watch, on every episode, on every iteration, this ED is growing on me. I'm just like, I'm noticing little little bits and pieces of the production of it and the way that it's arranged. Not the production, the arrangement. That uh, are just really cool. <laughs> and I really like. This whole, this whole segment is, is really interesting. It reads like a, a way of telling little mini ideas. That don't need that don't need more to be expressed. It's cool. It's very cool. Bite sized. Th these are donut holes, if you will. <laughs> little little one bites that kind of melt in your mouth and leave a nice aftertaste. It's really cool. I thought this was going to be more about expanding your field of view, but in a sense, what she was doing was expanding, I guess, Kaiki's field of view, not Aragi's. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so I got I got one right. It was Ononoki for for another one. Um, the only other ones that I can think of are are Gaian, Oikura, and Ononoki's master, whose name escapes me at the moment. Shit. Uh, let's go ahead and go on into episode eleven and see see what we're looking at.
beep boop beep boop timer. Koyomi nothing. Koyomi void. Month of new growth. Spring. Just barely. Oh, it's her. Ow. And why is she kicking the ever loving shit out of our ragi? Oh. Late February. Hmm. How can we? We didn't start with an OP, did we? Because there is no Kaganui specific OP, is there? Hmm. You die. Yep. 100% believe that. <laughs> Them? Curse. So this is post-rebuild, post, yeah. I mean, maybe. Maybe you just wanted to punch them. <laughs> sure. She's got such great style. The bell bottoms. <laughs> the open open shirt. It's pretty damn cool. <laughs> Smart. That's part of what I'm afraid of. That is the first time we have seen an ash color. Right. Hmm. That stretch. Just that you don't want to. Mm -mm. Good luck. Good luck. Yotsuki's true identity. Ah. 
because of your study? Who does my brother think I am? <laughs> really? Well, <laughs> oh man, yeah, you're so dumb. <laughs> Rip. Sure. Mm hmm. Uh. <laughs> Not that dumb, eh? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's actually brilliant. Divert you from the, the, the intent. <laughs> Ski dressing up on Anoki, that's great. Hmm. Please. <laughs> A false chance of victory. Okay. Right, because you know it wouldn't work. And that can borrow Shinobu's abilities. <laughs> the donut's all over it. Okay. Oh. Oh. Kind of brilliant. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Right, sure. The ash screens, I don't understand. They're interesting. Gray instead of white or black. Or red or blue. Unite.
Did we forget it to be continued before? I don't think we did. Does that mean the next episode is a follow-up? What happened to Kaganui? Okay, 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 okay. Interesting. Okay. I like the idea. I like I like the I mean there were some goofy things in this episode like the the bathroom the bathtub full of 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 Is there a word for the same idea as phallic but with breasts? Could I google that because I'm actually interested. Uh this... Can't, uh, can't think of one. Ah, serious Reddit. Phallic is to penis as blank is to breast. Memaric? Uh, Memillary? Eh, I don't like these. Okay, well, it doesn't really exist. Um... Side note, if you can come up with a, a word that doesn't sound awkward and horrifying, that is to that 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 is to breast as phallic is to penis, I would like that word. That would be a valuable word to have, actually. Like, because it kind of occurs frequently. Anyway, the the putty, the putty putty, giga putty. I'm sorry. I'm I'm so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Um. Some interesting things in this one, uh, uh, the the introduction of ash frames for, I believe, the first time. I don't think we have ever seen uh, gray frames of any kind, so that's, that's new and different. My pen just died. We've gone through this before. Hopefully I have, a, I have another one. Okay. Um, interesting. Some of the scenes with, 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 with uh, uh, Karin were interesting. The ash frames, real interesting. And doing an Onoki and then into a Kage Nui. Some, some honestly, like, reaction imageable moments in this episode. Like, Araragi just like... Pretty great. Uh, 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 uh. And then some interesting ideas about, about like, you, you need to take them up on it anyway. Just to try, just so that... E even though you may know that they're just doing this to let you down easily, putting a, a, a what what they believe at least is an impossible uh, task in front of you in order to prevent you from asking further about something that they don't actually want to answer. Pretty interesting. Pretty cool. I also I fucking love the the idea of the like donut laser pistol. It's pretty freaking great. Okay, um, there was a to be continued at the end of this episode, so I'm thinking this is a two parter and that the final episode will like maybe bridge the gap between the sort of goofy disconnected episodes that we've been having into something more serious and then bridge that as like this is the starting point for what comes next i don't know though let's uh let's find out 
yeah, all, all, all I want to do is go ahead and jump on into episode 12. So let's do it. And episode 12 is good to go, ready to rock and roll. So beep beep timer. Koyomi dead? Thick growth. The real sword sliced me. Ooh. Cut. March 13th. Ascended the mountain staircase. Had already become a habit. Okay. Yeah, she's a big girl. She can handle herself. Similar to Kaiki going every day, right? Like, becoming dead? <laughs> Cause Koyomi dead. Month was about to pun. Uh, uneventfully. None of it. None of it. Okay. Uh, hi. And then on the last day, Gaian is there. Hi, Anne. Gaian. The, the becoming a vampire thing. Targeted by Ogi? I don't know, guy, and you're kind of creepy sometimes. Okay, come here, come here. Hi, Ngayan. This just got ominous. Your way or Ogi's way? Ogi's way. Cause she stopped the snake thing? Or um um the other thing? Genuine oddity. Hi, Ogi. Is that dead? Yeah. Papagahara. Let see what seen. This is cool framing. Okay. Huh. 
Hi, episode. Who's that? Mm -hmm. You can. It's unlikely if there are other pieces remaining. That was mom, right? Flashing all of these important characters. The ones who've been like building in the background. Something weird's going on. There isn't one. Hmm. Cut hair. Handicap games. Impossible. Who's she playing with? And she's traveling. Green lights. Red lights. Following the rules. Looks like things are coming to a head between Ogi and Gaian. Act ha, yeah. No, but everywhere you go, you run into oddities. What are you planning, Gaian? Demon dummy. Okay. To balance. Painful for who? For who? <laughs> Ah. Uh. Ogi. Huh? Huh? Cut. Was that heart span? Whoa. Whoa, what the fuck is going on? It resembled. It was the real thing. Gaian has had it the whole time. And he's gone. The number you are trying to reach. Ah? Uh?
Yeah, let's have that. He's alive, or is this elsewhere? Another plane? The infinite? Or... Did she slay? Oh. This is the beyond. Dude, she's gone. Yeah. Hi, Chikuji. Uh-huh. Sure you did. Oh, motherfucker. So. So, so, so. Kaginui is gone. Gain believes war is coming, or something, conflict. And the way to prevent it is to prevent Araragi from acting. And the way to prevent Araragi from acting is by removing him from life, from this plane of existence. We saw no corpse, no body. We did see flashes of bits and pieces chopped up. Now I wonder, did she kill the oddity out of him? I don't know if that makes sense. Doesn't seem like that would be the thing. She killed him. He's dead dead. Because he is where Hachikuji is. The land of the dead. Heaven or hell? I don't know. It was bright. Maybe there isn't such a thing. Maybe it's just... An endless void. But there was that tree. Something that links the two two realms. Okay, okay, Gaian. Now, there, there was something in the way that she said what she said that was different. She said something about uh, the way to win. It will be like, it's a resolution strategy to dispel the darkness that's been enveloping this town. And so the answer is for you to die. I'll only hurt for a moment. Okay, hold on. Carrying it out is a little painful. I mean, if Aragi acts as a magnet for, for activity... Then is her intent to remove him permanently or temporarily? And how much of this is... No, you know what? I had this thought that like this is Oisin's way of, of interestingly killing off Aragi and ending his story, but there's so much more of the story to go. So no, that doesn't work. He is dead dead. He is dead dead. And I don't think anybody on this realm can get him back. Although we did flash through all of like the most interesting and powerful people around from from Oshino out out in the void or out in the wandering and Tsubasa and and everyone else so will this be actually that's a good thought i i was about to say will this be like the arc that we had where kambaru was the protagonist um but but uh, a thought that i'll have to confirm with with somebody in the discord via timeline like is this event this is going towards graduation, right? This is entrance exams. So this is... And it's post... Post Nautico, because the shrine is rebuilt. Um, 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 So... Do we know for a fact that this is... Yeah, yeah, because he had graduated. He had graduated and was elsewhere in that arc. So we know that Aragi comes back, ends up with the long hair and the, the yellow beetle and... And all of that stuff. And the, the the gothy clothes. So we know he'll be back. We don't know how. We don't know quite where he is. But he's he's elsewhere now. Which means he has no influence on, on anything. 
which I guess means if we think of of Ogi's entire purpose as I'm Ogi equals void equals darkness, Ogi's entire purpose being balancing out whatever, then are we saying that Ogi is the the balance, the foil, the the flip side, the mirror image of Aragi himself, and thus re- removing Aragi enables or forces her to disappear herself in order to maintain that balance? Maybe. Maybe. Huh. Well, this was not what I expected. And it's 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 different from everything that's come before in Koyomi, for sure. Partly because it's a two-parter, partly because it fucking has an impact on everything and will clearly feed into the next storyline. But it doesn't feel like what I was conjecturing about at the beginning of this video. Like it's a, a punchline that wraps up or or encompasses all of what's come before. Unless it is, and we haven't gotten to that yet. Because he hasn't realized it, and thus we haven't realized it. It doesn't seem like Gaian is malevolent here, though. It's interesting that she's had Heartspan this entire time. Or is it Heartspan? Or is Heartspan, is Heartspan the original, or is Heartspan the name given to the, 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 the copy, the replica? I don't know. I don't know. There are so many things I don't know. Holy shit. This whole episode had a really interesting, like, ominous undertone. Like, things are about to change. Everything is different. And also, just the... the um, I'm looking for a word of it, but flashing through all of these important places and important characters, these people who have influenced or have been influenced by Araragi. <laughs> Is that meant to be Kaiki? It's got the things on the head, but I'm not sure. Oikura off in what looks like a better place. By a bright red mountain, Oshino. Nadako with short hair in her disgustingly pink room. Okay, in this moment, the light is green when she walks, and yet the car almost hits her. Yeah. Oh man, I wish I was was fresh on some of the things that Ogi said about about um signals like that. Green means go, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're safe. Hmm. Snow melting. To stop your actions, not planning planning on you to act, but we need to prevent you from action. And the thing is, like, she's kind of right in a way. Aragi, a defining feature of his character is that, against his better judgment, he takes action, even if it means upsetting balance. Or disobeying. Especially when it's to protect people he cares about. He can't help it. Who was calling her? Or was that just an, an effect used to, to bump up the tension? Like, to, to wonder why she isn't answering her phone? And it's not one of the normal phones that she normally uses, is it? Because we showed this pocket, the closed pocket. She has one in each of her, her pants pockets that sticks out. Gotta, gotta love this 
uh, this shot as she steps forward, and then we zoom super hard in. Flash of a blade, flash, 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 and then the chopped body parts. Very uh, OP of Zoku Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei feel here. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty fucking awful, too. And then a spray of blood. Vision blur, and then blackness. And he just evaporates into bits and bobs. He's taken through memories. Flash, flash, flash. To his child self. All of these frames. To arrive was the bigger barrier. Koyomi dead. He is dead. So is this his journey to come back? Oh, there's so much to play with with that. How many oddities slain are out there? Maybe. Could be a lot of familiar ground to retread. But there could also be a lot of new ground. I mean, if this is some kind of afterlife or heaven or hell, there's there's like immense amounts of stuff that can be done with that. This just got fascinating. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Like now that the initial shock is kind of wearing off, I'm just I'm just kind of hyped. Cause this is cool. <laughs> this is cool. This is unlike anything that we've seen before in in Gotteri. Cool. Cool. This is very exciting. I'm very intrigued. Okay. Well, lots of interesting stuff going on. It looks like this is the big old plot hook for for Zoku Awari, I assume. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. This makes me excited for next week. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to wrap this up and start editing this video and getting it out. Um can't wait to see what happens next. So let's, yeah, let's wrap it up. I've been Tiabu. This has been Koyomi, uh, 7 through 12. And it's been real interesting. <laughs> real interesting. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. And I hope to catch you next week when we'll go ahead and start diving into Zoku Owari and see how Araragi either gets out of this situation or doesn't. And how, like... <laughs> Whether we maintain a locked uh, Araragi's viewpoint perspective in the future, or if we jump from there to the real world to see what's going on there in what appears to be a brewing war between, between two extraordinarily powerful forces. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, that'll be it. I'll see you, I'll see you next time. Peace.